Dan Schneider dealt with some major backlash when he was accused of abuse during his command at Nickelodeon. While Schneider has rejected the allegations made against him to this day, it was quite clear that there is something wrong when Nickelodeon finally parted ways with Schneider, who created some of the biggest shows in 2018. The rumors claimed he built a toxic and uncomfortable environment for many of Nickelodeon's stars. In today's video, we're going to take a look at the scandal with some unknown facts and find out whether Dan Schneider is Jamie Lynn Spears' baby daddy. Stay tuned to find out. This is a genuine assumption, but some fans have claimed that Jamie Lynn Spears, the star of Schneider's show Zoe 101, may have been targeted by the producer. During the filming of the series, Spears, who was just aged at 16 years old, became pregnant. According to reports, there's a baseless rumor that Schneider is the father of former Zoe 101 star Jamie Lynn Spears' kid, who was born in 2007. Well, this is definitely nothing more than a rumor, and Schneider has also maintained his integrity throughout the statements of misconduct. But this does not mean that he has not done anything wrong. You see, in 2014, Schneider was praised at the Teen Choice Awards for his contribution to Nickelodeon with the Lifetime Achievement Award, but neither Miranda Cosgrove nor her iCarly co-star Janet McCurdy attended the ceremony, which was valued as a protest against the producer. McCurdy later addressed her absence on Twitter by writing, I was put in an uncomfortable, compromising, unfair situation and I had to look out for me. While Schneider has denied any misconduct, there were many moments in which underage actresses were put in inappropriate schemes. For example, a behind-the-scenes clip from The Amanda Show features the underage star Amanda Bynes in a hot tub with Schneider. Well, other BTS footage even shows Schneider directing Amanda to perform an inappropriate act on a science project. This was something that even the tween actress wouldn't have believed to be inappropriate. In the middle of the scandal, many Nickelodeon staff members accused Schneider of verbally abusive behavior on the set. It's been claimed that he has a bad temper. When he was told that his show Game Shakers would not be retrieved for a fourth season, he reacted with a lot of irritation. The scandal was mostly based around Dan Schneider's bizarre obsession. It has been said that the producer harbored an extreme foot thing. While there's nothing wrong with private kinks, imposing them on kids is not fine. Schneider would often add foot emblems to his TV shows, from zooming in on young actresses' feet to even making the Nickelodeon logo a big orange foot. His show, Sam and Cat, tweeted a request for fans to write on their feet and post the pictures on Twitter. We will retweet and follow until our fingers get sore, proclaimed the post, which doesn't even sound like a crude euphemism. Since Schneider has earned $40 million net worth, this seems to be a case of a man hiding in plain sight, protected by money and power. In 2013, Sam and Cat star Jeanette McCurdy shares a candidly sinister and confusing cryptic vine. She said, Hey Dan Schneider, I know you're watching my vine. Do you like my vine? While wearing ripped clothes, with lipstick smeared across her face and her hair a mess, before speaking, look what you've done to me. Many people viewed this video as a cry for help and an allusion to abuse. Since multiple actresses fear that speaking out against abuse will harm their careers, it was generally believed that McCurdy opted for a cryptic outing of Schneider as an apparent abuser. Like many former child stars, Amanda Bynes also had a public breakdown, which started around 2012. To this day, she's hunted by the paparazzi. In 2014, she accused her father of abuse on Twitter. The claims have led many people to believe that maybe she wasn't referring to her biological father, but a father figure like Dan Schneider. A lot of fans have guessed that Bynes may have been referring to the abuse at the hands of Schneider in Strain's social media posts. After all of these claims, Nickelodeon chose to part ways with Schneider in 2018. However, the network have never stated why they made this decision, which was seen as a shady thing on their aspect. Nickelodeon also rewarded the producer for his dismissal by giving him $7 million. While Schneider created a lot of programming centered on young children, but he also has denied all allegations of misconduct made against him. Later on, he claimed that he was the victim of a smear campaign, while considering that the rumors have seriously damaged his prestige. Despite his name being dragged through the ground for all these years, Dan Schneider seems to be prepared to return to television. In a 2021 interview with the New York Times, Schneider said that over the years, he's grown and matured as a producer and leader. He's better and more gentle at communication today. After having a break from the limelight, Dan seems to be prepared to reintroduce his work to new audiences. However, we are not too sure if the damage has already been done. What's your take on this topic? Let us know in the comments section below. With that being said, it's time to end today's video. Press the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting stuff. Peace out.